We're now on the Resync stand and I'm joined by Dave French. Dave, we're going to talk about e-vehicles. Can you explain a bit about the launch of e-vehicles for Resync and, and why you're doing this now? Well, Resync have a long history and a very good history in vehicle distribution and equipment distribution. Um, we launched the Farm Track brand, which you'll see behind you, in 2020, just before COVID. It's gone from strength to strength. This was um, Europe's first electric tractor. So the natural progression from there was to move into a full electric division. So we now have a full electric division with 28 different vehicles. Um, everybody's talking about going electric. It's not just you and I that need to be thinking about it with our own vehicles. Every business needs to be reducing its carbon footprint and reducing its emissions. So the natural progression, Resync have launched these vehicles. We've got something for our customers and we're ready to catch them. Dave, can you expand on why having electrically powered vehicles in your range is so important? Oh, indeed, yeah. We've already talked about reducing our, our carbon footprint and reducing emissions, but having an electric option gives the, the customer the ability to tiptoe around a the site. They don't have to, um, you know, the, the petrol and diesel equivalents that we're looking to replace are generally very noisy, high maintenance vehicles. So having the ability to do something virtually silently um, is a massive benefit, especially to customers like golf courses, resorts, um, hotels, places like schools and, and universities where they need to be in quiet environments, the, the electric is a fantastic option. You're working with Star EV, what was it that appealed to you about this particular company to work with? Well Star are a North American company for a start, so we've got a history of dealing with North American companies with our Toro brand. Um, they've got a very good quality vehicle, it's very well built at an affordable price. So it, it's something that um, was very favourable to us. So with the UK market in mind, what are you bringing in with this range of buggies and work vehicles? Another option, simple as that. Um, it's another good option. The, the market's been dominated, especially in the golf industry, been dominated by a couple of brands for many decades and um, we're bringing something else to the market. When, when Aldi and Lidl launched in the UK, Tesco's and Sainsbury's didn't disappear into oblivion. So we're, we're here, we've got our own customer base and we want to offer them something which they know that they, we will like and they will like. Dave, can you give us a bit more on what makes this particular brand stand out? It's, I'll be perfectly honest with you, there isn't anything particular that makes them stand out from the rest. We are going with the latest technology. So all our vehicles, all 28 vehicles are coming with either lithium battery or sealed gel battery. So there'll be, there'll be no lead acid. We know that the, the majority of electric vehicles, the issues that people have with them are from wet cell batteries and, and lack of maintenance. So we're eliminating that issue. The speed of charge and the downtime for machines is an issue. Um, what can customers for this range expect from rapid charge from you guys? Well, we've got, um, we've got a range of battery sizes. The minimum, the, the smallest size we have, which we put on the Golf Buggy is 80 amp hours. Um, so that's going to take about three to four hours to charge from flat to full. So that's not a lot of downtime. And uh, the bigger batteries that we're putting into some of our other utility vehicles, up to eight to nine hours charge. So any overnight window um, and, and you're good to go. The other options you see with the lithium batteries, they're quite happy to take an intermittent charge. We don't need to worry about leaving them on charge for a length of time. Come back of a lunch hour, you can plug them in and charge them and get a bit of charge back. So, The other issue that people have is, is mileage. Oh. Yeah, do you want to talk to me about yeah. that? The million dollar question, yeah. range anxiety. Yeah, um, anything between really 20 miles on an 80 amp hour up to sort of 60 miles is what we're looking to get out of our bigger 210 amp hour batteries. Um, again, we can plug them in when we want to, so we don't need to worry too much about uh, the fact that they might run out of charge. If they're, not, if they're running out, we can come back and plug them in, get an hour's range back. But, yep. And I'll, I'll take this opportunity to give advice to anybody that's got an electric vehicle, try and run it without using the brake pedal. <laughs> Regenerative braking on electric motors is fantastic, and if you let the vehicle slow down itself using the motor, you will get charge back into the battery and extend your range. Everybody wants things to be the way they want it these days. Uh, does it come in the you know any colour you want as long as it's black, or can people get a red one, a blue one, a green one? You can have it in any colour you like. I mean, each range that we do has got its own standard colours, but um, yeah, we can put it in any colour you like. So, and we, we also do other things as well. So there's other options that you can add to the vehicles. We can put weatherproofing on them. We can put beacons on the roof. We can put flashing lights. We can put decals. We can we can vinyl wrap them if you need to. So yeah, there's plenty of options available.
So it could be branded up for a, a resort or a club or? Very much so, yeah. We can put decals on them, um, very much brand them up exactly how you like them. Dave, told us a lot about the vehicle, but I think, you know, perhaps if you could just give us a, a walk around and show us some of the key features. Indeed, yeah. I'll hand over to you. Yeah. Welcome everybody to the uh, Capella work machine. It's a utility vehicle with a carrier on the back. Capacity is 670 kilograms. Tow capacity of 520 kilograms. It's got lots of key features that are standard on this vehicle that we won't find necessarily on the competition. It comes standard with wing mirrors, a glass screen with wiper, a full LED lighting system, including indicators, all standard on the vehicle. Moving through inside, we've got hazard lights, obviously full set of lights, aluminium tread plates on the, um, on the pedals, lithium battery up to 210 um, amp hours, seat belts included in the vehicle, and we have a hydraulic electric tip. Okay. The vehicle comes standard with a self-draining canopy top which drains down through the tubes onto the floor so when you climb in you don't get wet. Um, we can also put weatherproofing down here if required and we can put a full cab over the top of the vehicle, full steel cab. So that's the Capella work machine from Star with the alloy wheels. Thanks for that Dave. I mean you've got some other e-vehicles on the stand here that are pretty interesting. Uh, the Rico for instance that's just over there. Could you do the same for us again? Indeed, yeah. Welcome to the Rico e-track. This is a uh, utility tool carrier and load carrier. It's a 96 volt machine available in a 20, 40 and 60 kilowatt battery packs. It's set up here with a weed brush, but the concept of the machine is that we're developing out front mowing equipment, side flail equipment, hedge trimmers, snow plows, salters for the back, spreaders for the back, um, so it's a, effectively a, a tool carrier that will take multiple units to the front, multiple units to the back, and will um, effectively revolutionise what's often done with several different vehicles. Dave, so this Rico e track who's going to want one of these? Well, it's predominantly for councils and council contractors. Currently, the, the, the uh, operations that this vehicle will be doing are carried out by multiple contractors or multiple vehicles or a combination of both. So if we can co combine as many operations into one vehicle, it's a win-win for everybody. And purchase options, I mean, is there a range of finance? How, how can people get their hands on one of these? Oh, indeed. I mean, Resync are specialists in, in capital equipment, so we've all sorts of ways of people that, that can purchase these. It's either lease, operational lease, or um, purchase lease, so they own the asset at the end. But um, we're also happy to take cash in any currency. Dave, fascinating stuff that you've gone through here with us. We'll let you get back to doing the job you're supposed to be doing, and, and thanks for your time today. Thank you very much.